Hey coin collectors. This is one of the mega rarities of the 20th century. There are only three known examples. On January 22nd, 2023 Great Collections Auctions sold a PCGSMS 65 red example, which realized $1,136,250 with the buyer's premium. It is called a double die because the letters and numbers on the obverse, front, side of the coin appear to be doubled, giving them a blurry or shadowy appearance. The double die occurred because of a mistake in the die making process. Die makers at the mint accidentally created a master die with the design slightly doubled, and this error was replicated on all of the working dies that were struck that year. Only a small number of coins with this error were produced before the mistake was caught and corrected, making them highly sought after by collectors. Three of them somehow escaped the scrutiny of mint employees, most likely. Moving on to this 1969, South Lincoln Center also with double die obverse. The 1969 S. Lincoln Cent has a decades-long reputation as the most significant Lincoln Cent issue and one of the most important 20th century die varieties known. A true 1969 S. double die obverse cent will have strong and prominent doubling on the date. The doubling appears on a southeast direction and is more prominent on the date, the word liberty, and the words I am God we trust. A true 1969s double die obverse cent will not have doubling on the mint mark as the mint mark was punched into the die separately. On a machine doubled coin, the mint mark will be doubled along with most or all of the legends and devices. This red specimen is in mint state 63 the strike is sharp and abrasions are minimal for the grade, although scattered specks are observed on both sides. It was sold for $40,800 at heritage auctions. Here is 1944D steel scent in about uncirculated 53 condition. This delightful 1944D scent is an off-metal rarity, struck on a steel planchet the year after that metal was dropped from coinage use. It circulated briefly before being saved, as shown by the miner were over the devices. Pale blue tints from the zinc plating mingle with the pale steel gray of the planchet underneath. Spots are visible along the obverse rim and also on the reverse most noticeably to the right of the E in one and around the word states. It was sold for $37,375 at heritage auctions. Moving on to this 1927s Lincoln Cent and Mint State 65 plus red condition. The 1927s is a semi-scare state that is difficult to find in nice condition, primarily because the strike is so often poor. Full red examples are not all that rare, but gems are. Any 1927S scent in grades above MS64 is a true condition rarity. This charming specimen ended up selling for $52,875 at Great Collections Auction. And this is 1995, Lincoln Center in Mint State 69 Red. The 1995, Lincoln Center is a common coin and can be found in circulation or purchased from a coin dealer. However, it is rare to find this coin in an MS69, Mint State 69, grade, which means it is almost perfect with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. In 1995, the US Mint produced over 4 billion Lincoln cents, making it one of the most common coins in circulation. However, most of these coins were not well preserved and are typically found in lower grades. In MS69 1995, Lincoln Center is a highly sought-after coin by collectors because of its rarity and high quality. This ultra-rare specimen was sold for $19,202.62 with buyer's fee in 2022 at Great Collection Auctions. Thanks for watching guys. If you have such rare coins feel free to post them for sale on our website, thecoines.com. And don't forget to hit the like button. Have a good one.